Hey guys, welcome back to Combustion Junction. I'm Steve. Behind me is the CM400T Cafe Racer Project, uh, part nine. Okay, so today we're gonna start in on the electronics uh, on the bike. On the last video, I started to touch on a little bit, getting the handlebars installed, getting those wires ready, all that control, all that extra stuff, just sort of ready for me to uh, start to deal with the main loom. Now, when I started doing this particular project, I actually got a few uh, messages, a few PMs, from various different people asking that when I got into the electronics part of it, could I kind of go into more detail? And I've been working on it for a little bit now and I sort of realized that it's taking me longer than I thought and I'm going into a little bit more detail and doing more custom stuff than I realized I needed to do. Some of that's out of necessity and some of that is just wanting to keep things a little bit more uh, organized and clean on the bike itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split the electronics portion of this into actual three episodes, I think. If I change that after the next one, I'll let you know. But basically there's three main categories that I kind of, I, I'm into and realize that I'm spending a lot more time on and going into some detail that maybe uh, people might find more interesting. So I'm gonna just take, slow down for a second and, and concentrate on those areas individually. The first one being uh, the electronics tray under the seat. Just going through exactly what's going under there. Um, and how I'm gonna just sort of reroute the wiring and clean it up to get it into uh, a reasonable place to be able to sort of identify things and not have to do much troubleshooting. Uh, as well, getting the battery wired in in there and, um, and just cleaning up the loom. That's gonna be today. The second part is, is gonna be dealing with the headlight because that became a whole other bowl of soup in itself that I that I didn't realize I was going to have to concentrate so much on. And then I think the third part is going to be uh, just troubleshooting everything. Once those two main components are in and reintegrated into the bike, then there's there's literally turning the key on and just making sure everything works. You know, headlights, signals, uh, the flashers. I'm going all LED, so there's going to be have there's going to have to be some things that that may or may not have to get addressed for the LED uh, swap. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing in my mind now. And the last part of that will obviously be checking to see if I have spark because I'm I'm close to getting this thing started now. So if I can get the loom in and get all that stuff working and get spark happy, then then that's great. So that's the plan as it sits now. So right now, let's hit the electronics tray. This is the battery I'm gonna use. It's a uh, glass mat sealed, ordered it on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if anybody's interested. Uh, I'm not going lithium with this one. I don't think I need to reduce the size. I think this will do me fine with the electronics I have to fit. And that way I don't have to mod the charging system, which often can be a uh, pain in the neck. I will have to put a couple of little uh, brackets in just so that it locks in place, but I think that's pretty much where it's gonna go. Okay, so out of this uh, loom, I basically, everything that has to do with all the functions has to fit in here except for the one thing I'm not going to put uh, in the box, I'm actually going to put underneath it, is the regulator rectifier. I know it needs air to keep it cool and I have limited space and I actually, um, I think it'll just do well if you just pop it up under there and uh, let it be. There's uh, two small connectors on I actually have two of these. One, yeah, this one has uh, a, a corroded connector on it, so I'm gonna use the other one. Um, but it'll go up underneath, and these two wires will just uh, slip into the box, sort of like that. In here, I have the fuse box on the stock connector. I will probably leave it uh, be. I have the flasher relay for the turn signals. These two guys, one is oil pressure switch, uh, which goes to the light, and this is the uh, neutral safety switch. So 
those guys will uh, tap off those connectors on the engine itself. This is the rear brake light switch, which we'll have to get uh, down here into the stock position. This is the tail light loom. Connectors in place and just cut off from uh, what would have been the stock tail light. This, I will just swing over the back for now because that is not really a big concern of mine. Last thing is the uh, starter relay. So that's my uh, positive battery connection, which uh, should fit in there nicely. And that just has a small loom that comes off of it into the uh, main wiring harness. There are two small connectors uh, down here, which come off of the engine. They, those wires themselves aren't long enough to make it right into the box to have the connectors, so I will have to, to put those in between the pot filters or something and just try and keep them hidden out of the way. That's everything here. To avoid making uh, a whole spaghetti mess of wires any more than it is, Everything kind of falls into place sort of where it should go, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back at least the covering on part of it, at least uh, back to here to before it goes in. Because really and truly, once the loom is under the tank, there's all kinds of space in there. This can be a little bit fatter. If I cut the wrap on the loom, any extra wires, instead of having everything sort of coiled and shoved in, and kind of like this, which it's gonna, it's kind of gonna end up like that anyway, I can at least cut and pull back any extra wiring so that everything just kind of comes in a little bit cleaner. So let's get started with that and let's see where things end up. do it do it this way it may seem a little overwhelming at first but what it really gives you is you can you start to see the clean lines and because it's really easy to backfold some of the harness so all the spaghetti isn't living inside here it can live up underneath the tank so I'm going to get my battery back in and start to just back pull some of this wiring so as an example you know, my fuse box will might like sit up on the side here. Instead of having all this wiring come around here and loop up and get taped down, I can just pull all this back out and just have the fuse box with the plug just inside. So it's, it's uh, clean and easy to get at. Still all stock. I don't really want to cut anything so that I'm not troubleshooting things I've messed up with uh, when I go to start it. Make sense? On my original motor, the oil pressure uh, sender was sort of on the side here, K 
came out of the case around right here. The new sender comes off of the oil cooler in the front of the motor. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to back pull that blue wire. So instead of pulling it up out of there, running it down the spine, tapping it into this wire, which goes back there anyway, I'm gonna pull this blue wire back until I can basically uh, get the two to meet in the middle, keeping it nice and clean. Everything has been pulled back as much as I needed to be pulled back and now I've got tons of room in this box. The lines that go down straight into my engine harness all just do it behind the scenes. Nothing comes in or out of the box so I have no worries there. So that's basically the bulk of my loom there. I'm going to put a wiring sleeve on top just to clean all that up. Make sure it doesn't interfere with uh, gas tank mounting or anything. I've got way more than enough space. I could probably actually put, um, interesting, because I could probably uh, mount this guy in here now. I so have enough space for it. I'm gonna look into doing that. I think there's enough fresh air gonna be coming in that I think that's worth a shot. Because I've moved the rectifier, one of my engine connectors uh, came up top, which is okay. It can stick out of the bundle like that, so it's accessible. Uh, everything clears under the gas tank. Everything is ready to be wrapped. I'm not going to do it yet until I get everything on, key on, and make sure everything falls into place. But um, so far, so good. It's uh, it's working out nicely. Okay, so uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope I made it to make sense and I hope it sorta of helps uh, those those people that sorta of reached out to me. I hope um, it gives you what you were asking for. I'm certainly I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with the result at this point. Uh, so I'll leave it there. Next time we get into the headlight and there's all kinds of stuff that I've figured out that uh, has to change and I'm in the middle of it right now. So if you're digging this, please give me a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more updates, and uh, to catch my other builds that I've got coming up really soon. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you later. Cheers.